Huhu. I'm out of my slump. Yes. Great. I want to tell you about what is going on in my mind and a tiny bit of course because there are a lot of things going on um, up there or there's nothing going on up there <laughs> okay I th think it's doesn't matter so I started editing my novel in April. I finished it in April as well. And it was pretty hard and it strained my eyesight. My eyes did hurt and uh, the part uh, fluttered, 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 flitted. You know what I mean? I did a holiday and like always holidays are not good for me and I sank into a slump. I only edited around 30 chapters and then I stopped. I sent out the story as it is, as a it's not the usual first draft because I did some editing when I before I upload my chapters and I did some more editing or more proofreading in the whole document like I checked consistent spelling of the words I invented and the names and I checked words I usually write wrong. <laughs> like people, players have batches with their level and rating and name and guild uh, on it. And I usually, or now and then, I write batch not as B A D J. Not, not J, G, E, but as B, A, T, C, H, you know, the homonym stuff. <laughs> or major and mayor, I confuse these, these two words sometimes. Then I checked for too much and too many that there are always two O's and not only one um, O and um, a few combinations with OFF with two F's like um, I believe OFF-putting or something like this yeah, so let's call it commonly made mistakes. And uh, yeah, this is for whole document and for uh, the first 30 chapters, um, things like uh, filter words and I let it read to me by natural readers, yeah. So I send it out to my beta readers and the start of May because I knew I couldn't make progress. Oh no, I wanted to force myself to make progress with this strategy. So I sent to them the first 15 chapters and uh, five days after that, there's the next uh, 50 chap 
15 chapters and then five days after this the next 15 chapters and then I gave up <laughs> yeah because yeah so I sank into my slump and oh, I haven't written much and haven't edited and my beta readers didn't read my story. There are some still at it. Um, but I've got one, I sent it four people. One said she won't complete it. Uh, one said she needed more time. Um, one boy said nothing and another male reader said he needed more time. So maybe I will get feedback from them. I uh, don't know yet, so not all hope is lost. Yeah, so I used the not writing part and doing nothing but reading part to find a new way forward <laughs> and yeah I reassured myself of a few things like it's going well and people are interested and I can do it all on my own time and in my own pace so no stress huh? but there is stress because I had this uh, I had taken this year off to uh, write my novel and I have written my novel now uh, would be the last steps to publishing it and then what's then yeah Yeah, so I have to find a job again and uh, I don't want to find a job at the moment, a regular job and I don't know what job I don't want to find. <laughs> I mean this, co this COVID-19 thingy complicates everything because there are many open jobs at the moment. So I won't have the spread of opportunity that I imagined. And I don't want to start in a new work environment with uh, this looming threat over our heads and I just want to continue to art and stuff and write and <laughs> do videos and yeah I am not finished Maybe this was another reason why I stumbled in editing, in finishing my project, because I don't want it to be finished. Hmm. But uh, I mean, I'm writing volume two and I believe I have now enough experience to write two chapters a week even when I'm working part-time at least part-time yeah full-time I don't know <laughs> yeah so I said to my um, parents and gave myself the deadline that I will think about my future starting June <laughs> that's in three days 
so yeah <laughs> maybe you will hear more next week about it bye bye